General Functional Performance Assessment in a Patient with Ataxia. Welcome to this digital educational e-platform. In this video, we will show how to perform a functional assessment in a patient with cerebral ataxia using a standard clinical scale. Firstly, we show you again the main clinical signs of cerebellar ataxia, which are related to the oculomotor system, the movement of the upper and lower limbs, and impairment of balance and gait. All of these signs will be assessed through this video. There are different specific tests for the assessment of ataxia, such as the ECARS, FARS or SARA, among others. The International Cooperative Ataxia Rating Scale, or ECARS, comprises four subscales, which assess postural and gait impairments, limb ataxia, dysartria and oculomotor disorders. It has been validated in focal cerebellar conditions, spinocerebellar ataxias and Friedrich ataxia. The rating scale for Friedrich's ataxia, or FARS, is specific for Friedrich ataxia. And there is also the scale for the assessment and rating of ataxia, SARA, which we will explain in an ex exhaustive way along this video. In relation to the oculomotor assessment, according to the ECARS, we will consider these three aspects. Firstly, we ask the patient to extend the arms to know the average distance at which we will perform the maneuvers. We will then ask the patient to look laterally at the examiner's finger and we will check if nystagmus is evoked and if there are any abnormalities in eye tracking. We can also ask for vertical tracking. And finally, we will ask the patient to place both fingers in his or her field of vision to observe if there are any differences on the involuntary motion of the eyes. Now we are going to describe SARA. This scale was created as an alternative to ICARS and it is administered in a much shorter time. The use of SARA in, in spinal cerebral ataxia, stroke ataxia and Frederick ataxia has been validated in the literature. SARA evaluates eight items using a quantitative numerical score. For the motor activities of the four extremities, that is items five to eight, the assessment is carried out bilaterally. Three maneuvers are scored on each side, and then the mean is used to obtain the total score for that side. The patient is asked firstly to walk at a safe distance parallel to a wall, including a half turn, turn around 180 degrees to face the opposite direction of gait, and secondly to walk in tandem, heels to toes, at least 10 steps without support. We will pay attention to if there is any staggering or hesitation and if there is a need of support of any aid or from another person. Patient is asked to stand in three different positions for 10 seconds each. Firstly, in natural standing position. Second, with feet together in parallel, that is big toes touching each other. And thirdly, in tandem, both feet on one line, no space between heel and toe. Patient does not wear shoes and eyes are open for the three tests. For each condition, three trials are allowed and the best one is scored. Patient is asked to sit on an examination bed without support of feet, eyes open and arms outstretched to the front. Patient has to stay in this sitting position for more than 10 seconds. We will pay attention to if there is any swaying and if patient needs support to maintain the position. Speech is assessed during normal conversation. We will pay attention to if the speech can be understood and if there are constantly words difficult to understand or if they only appear occasionally. Patient sits comfortably in front of examiner and performs five consecutive sudden and fast pointing movements in unpredictable directions. Patient is asked to follow the movements with the index finger as fast and precisely as possible. We will pay attention to any dysmetry in the movement. Patient is asked to point repeatedly with the index finger from his or her nose to examiner's finger, which is in front of the patient at about 90% of patient's reach. Movements are performed at moderate speed and performance of movements is rated according to the amplitude of the kinetic tremor. Patient is asked to perform 10 cycles of repetitive alternation of pronosupination of the hand on his or her thigh as fast and as precise as possible. Exact times for movement execution have to be taken 
and pay attention to irregularities or interruptions of the movement. Patient lies on examination bed without sight of his legs. Patient is asked to lift one leg, point with the heel to the opposite knee, slide down along the shin to the ankle, and lay the leg back on the examination bed. We will pay attention to if the patient slides down without contact to the shin. To finish the test, the total score is calculated in order to determine the severity of the ataxia. It will be rated from 0, no ataxia, to 40, more severe ataxia. References Thank you for using this e-platform.